What's up everybody, DGTPOR here today to review, or not to review, to show you what I'm reading this week in a, what's going to be a very extra long episode of DGTPORs, or DG's, pull file. And so we'll try to get right into it. Uh, I'm going to start off with the one variant, because I didn't, I didn't do an episode last week because I was sick and I'm still kind of sick, so if you hear me sniffling and stuff, that's probably why. Uh, so I so it's gonna be extra long because I got the comics from last week and this week and uh, I'm gonna start off with the one variant I've picked up through the two weeks which is the spider Gwen variant that just came out here on uh, this past Wednesday the spider Gwen this is the Scotty Young variant so that will go into my very growing variant collection and then uh, I picked up a couple uh, trade paperbacks as well. Uh, I got Ultimate Rec Room. Uh, I just finished the first uh, initial storyline of, well not storyline, but first initial series of Ultimate Spider-Man and this is kind of what gaps between uh, Ultimate Spider-Man and then Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. And uh, it has I think what three, four stories in it with uh, Two Spider-Man stories, a Fantastic Four story, and then an X-Men story. And it kind of just shows what happens after uh, the flood and all that stuff. And it, like I said, it bridges that gap. And then I bought, bought uh, Sex Criminals number one. Which I picked this up on a limb because I heard it got uh, picked up for a TV series, right? So I figured I'd give it a try. If it's good enough to get a TV series, I'll read it. And plus, I've kind of been wanting to read it, too. So, uh, we'll try that. I mean, on the back, what does it say? It says, Girls, girl meets a boy, girl hooks up with a boy, and for the first time in their lives, they find themselves alone together. So, what, so do they, so they do what any new young people do. Have sex and freezing time. Well, I read that complete wrong. So, they do what any new young couple having sex and freezing time might do. They rob banks. So yeah, you know, sounds pretty interesting. And then I picked up uh, something that was recommended to me by a friend, the Spider-Man family business, and uh, this is where you find out that this version of Peter Parker has a sister and she helps him fight off the pink kingpin, so I'm pretty excited to read that as well. And then, uh, just to get into the bulk of the comics, we got number 27, which I'm going to put over to the side and read it once I finally catch up with Nova. Well, no, never mind. I'm going to I'm gonna read this one. Yeah, because I have the one before, or the couple before, with the symbiote roar, and I'm going to start from there because I haven't read Nova in a long time. I'm missing some key issues. And then we got Rocket Raccoon, number 8. And then we got Chapter 3 of the Black Vortex Story and Legendary Star-Lord, number what, number 9. And that's been pretty good. The Black Vortex has been pretty good right now, I believe. Uh, who is it? Gamora has the power of the Black Vortex right now. And uh, Peter and Kitty are in a fight because Kitty does thinks the Black Vortex needs to be destroyed. And then we got... The surprisingly good Captain America, the all new Captain America issue 4, which it looks like. I don't know who it looks like he's fighting. It looks like a rock creature juggernaut looking dude. Then we got. Then we got. Issue 12 of Moon Knight, which is the sad end of Brian Woods and Greg Small. Smallwoods uh, run for this. They're going to bring in that new creative team because I believe they're switching creative teams like every nine issues or something like that. Six issues, I think. Something like that. And then we got the highlight. Well, the second highlight of what? The all new Silk. So it's from the pages of Spider Verse. Silk number one. I didn't find any variants of Silk that I liked. So that kind of sucked because I really like getting variants for the number ones because those tend to be <laughs> the things that get money. But I didn't find any I liked, so I didn't pick one up. And then 
<clears throat> Miles Morales, The Ultimate Spider-Man number 10, which is obviously my favorite series out right now. And um, this is what, like two issues? I think 12 is the end of this. So we're two issues away from the end of Miles Morales and the end of the Ultimate Universe. And then we got Secret Identities number one. Thought I'd give that a chance. Don't have any clue what it's about, but it looks like it's going to be about superheroes and its image. And image usually puts out very good stuff. Then we got the tape ripped off this one. Uh, we got Nightcrawler 11, which, which I think, I don't think I read its ending. I don't think so. I thought I read maybe, but I don't think I'm thinking of the right thing. Then we got Deadpool 42. Only three issues till Deadpool dies. And it looks like he's fighting Omega Red on this one. So that should be a pretty interesting read. And we got um, Amazing Spider-Man 15, which is uh, pretty much the epilogue. epilogue of uh, Spider-Verse and you get to see the aftermath and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Next is Star Wars Darth Vader number two. And I read the first Darth Vader just the other night and it started off pretty slow. Pretty much you just, it's right after the Death Star explodes and he's talking to the Emperor and the Emperor is pretty much like, oh, you failed me, blah, 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 and now you have to go do this. And he was out, and then you see that he was out negotiating with Jabba the Hutt and stuff. And then we got the, oh God, we got the Thor Annual, uh, number one, and this is interesting because apparently CM Punk is a writer now. Where is he at? Right there. So that's going to be interesting to read, see if he can pull off a Thor story. And then we got Batman 39, which obviously is more to the joke, the new Joker storyline. And we got Uncanny Avengers 2, which the first one was pretty good. From what I remember, I can't remember much. Uh, kind of miss. I I love Rick Remender. Like, I mean, I just I don't think anything he's written to me has been as good as the old Uncanny X Force. So yeah, but I mean, he's still a great great writer by all means. And then we got a new addition to my thing because I I never picked up issues one or two, but we got Agents of Shield. Uh, based off the TV series, I got this issue obviously because Spider-Man's in it. And if it's and if it's good enough, I might I might pick up issues one and two and add it to my uh, weekly or my uh, my actual main pull list. And then we got one of the gems for this week's uh, things. We got Spider Gwen number one. Obviously, I showed you the variant. I mean, Spider Gwen when her Spider Verse. Uh, intro story came she just hit completely just took off so expect good things I've heard good things about the issue from people that read it I heard the art is real good so yeah excited for that one and we got Amazing X-Men 17 where I think we're finally gonna get it to see that he they're gonna take on the juggernaut finally at least it's Unless they're just still building up to it, which they very well could be. Now you got a weird one, because you got all new X-Men 38, which I believe 37 hasn't come out yet. It's one of these two, where one of the issues are pushed back, and this is the issue after, because they had to speed it up. I think it's all new X-Men 1, or all new X-Men 38, because they had to push this out for the black vortex uh, continuity. And we got Superior Iron Man 5, and uh, he takes on Teen Abomination, and it looks like you get to maybe figure out uh, the origin of him, too, based on it says who is responsible for the origin. And then we got one of my personal new favorites, uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men, 
issue three. Um, uh, you just wrapped up with wrapped up with uh, issue two, and the whole time it leads you to believe Shark Girl is a traitor, but she ends up saving the day. I I mean I love Spider Man the X Men. I think it it gives me good memories of good old avenging Spider Man, which is was one of my favorite Spider Man series of all time. And I've I've read I know for sure I've read Spider Man and the X Men ends. I can't remember what number it ends in, but it's going to end soon, I believe. So that kind of sucks. I wish it could just continue on. And then we got Spider Man twenty nine, who it looks like he's taken on. Like who would that be? Like future Hulk. <laughs> That's, I mean, Hulk with the beard. Then we got Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. And Blood Ties Part 1 was awesome. You got to see Scorpion and Sub-Zero. So this one looks like it's about Raiden. And this one looks like it's about... Oh, what's his name? Was it Yu... Yu Maga? No. But... I forgot his name. The dude with the forearms. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. You know. G Goro. There you go. Duh. Yumaga. That's a wrestler. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Goro, yeah. So this one's about Goro. This one's about Raiden. Wow. Brain fart. Then you got the ever good... Rick Remender Low, which is probably his best series out right now. If you're not reading Low, I'd, I really recommend it. And then you got... Uh, you got The Wicked and the, the Divine, issue 8, which this is a great series. I also really recommend this. Um, having some remembering issues, some memory issues on what happened in the last issue. It's been so long... I know you've. I know there's kind of like a bad taste in people's mouth in the comic about the whole God thing, and then you meet some new God, and then this goes on to be his story, I believe. <laughs> and then we got the very weird, but good enough to keep my intention Rasputin's 4 and 5, and what it's about is. This dude's Rasputin, and he is some type of weird warrior dude, and it's actually really good, hard to explain. I also really recommend this. It's another good Image comic. It just seems everything Image makes is out of this world. So yeah, I mean, there we go. That's pretty much this week's pull file. I mean, like I said, I got to start taking down notes of what I'm reading so I can tell you more about what's going on. Uh, but we'll get there eventually. Maybe one day I'll have a good memory. Uh, thank you guys always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Pull File. Let me know what you think. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, uh, share is the word I'm looking for, man. I'm all out of it. Share my videos. Uh, Please follow me on social media. It's at DGTPOR on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's at DGTPOR. And uh, you can always follow me in the links below. Uh, this week's shirt was an MC Chris shirt. Uh, it says Ghost Hunter Tour shirt. <laughs> so I thought I'd break that out for you guys. If you guys like MC Chris, let me know. I love MC Chris. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, this is DGTPOR. Out.